Uh, hey guys, what's up? This is um CJ sixty four films. Um, today I'm doing a tutorial over um muzzle flashes. Um, this has been well. Most people, you know, on YouTube, they do lots of tutorials over this, and I think that I can do a pretty good job with this because I mean I get I go over the basics of it. And there's a lot more you can go into it, but what I Mostly what I do is, you know, put the muzzle flash in, get the glow, and the bullet. But, just, I want to make it as realistic as possible. But, I mean, a muzzle flash really isn't realistic because in movies, you know, they over-exaggerate it. But, this is, this is mine. I don't know if y'all saw that, because my screen capture is kind of shitty. But, I'll do it in slow motion. Yeah, so there's the glow, there's the muzzle flash, whole dealio. Okay, so I'm just going to delete all these files, start from scratch. Um, okay, so I've already, I've already imported all my files. Um, I'm using the Action Essentials. Um, all their stock footage is amazing. Uh, okay, I'm just going to show you what I let's see. Let's see what a good muzzle flash is for this one. I kind of want to change it up a little bit. Let's do this one. And... I guess this one. Okay. Oops. Okay. These aren't pre-keyed because the other ones don't have... You can't really see the smoke as well. So I like just keying it out to make it better. Okay. So, for most of you who do know you know, you go to screen. And for those who don't, you go to modify and final cut. You go to com um, composite mode and you go to screen. Okay, so that takes out all the all the black. Okay, now you got to crop out crop out all the um unneeded text and flip it around. Okay, now we got to go to the first frame of when the actual muzzle flash goes off. So that would be right about, hold on, I think it passed it. Right there. Okay, so put it right there. You want to make it, you want to make it pretty big. I mean, it's, it's at your choice to make it whatever size you want, but. The bigger the better, you know? Okay. Now I'm going to do the same with the other muzzle flash. Modify screen. Take out the stupid text. Flip it around. I mean, the only thing this really does is just make the other muzzle flash brighter, because this is our main, main muzzle flash that you're going to be seeing. Okay, so now, um go to the glow and just import it you're not going to need all this so you need you'll need, you'll need at least three or four frames because the glow only lasts like one big frame for the muzzle flash and the rest just it fades out okay so do the same thing go to composite mode screen and you want to make it pretty big because if it's going to be brightening up the room so that looks pretty good. And you don't... I'm going to turn the opacity down on it. Because it wouldn't be this bright. It'd be like a lot more lower. It'd be like... That looks pretty good. Like 60 something. 65 is good. Okay. And now what you're going to do is you go to um, motion. And you go to opacity. And you press little keyframe thing right here. So now we're on the first frame of it. And now you want to go like three or four frames in. And then you go back to motion and just turn it completely down. So it goes from this to that. So just it subtly fades away. Okay, so that looks pretty good so far. And now what you want to do is I already imported my um my bullet. But yeah, this is it. Let's just go to a good frame where it'd be shot off. Okay, that's pretty good. 
right there and just we're gonna um we're gonna speed this up anyway so it doesn't technically matter okay so go to um modify change speed I usually do 200 just, you know okay now put it on your your clip over the muzzle flash and you usually do it after like one frame after okay and then scale it down a lot well not too much but just enough because, I mean, you're only going to be seeing this for, like, three or four frames anyways. Okay. And then after that, you want to go to Effect, Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And you want to do it a pretty good decent amount, because you're not going to see it that much. I mean, just do it all the way. That's what I do. And... Okay. Because it's going to be rotating, you're not going to be able to see it that much, so. And now, you need to go to the first frame of your bullet, and click the little keyframe thing. It'll turn green. Okay, so, now when you're there, you go, like, three or four frames in. Like, right there. And then, make sure it goes out of frame. And then, you want to pull this up, because it's going to be, um... I don't know, this makes a little hill. And then you rotate it a good decent amount, because it's, I mean, it's already rotating in general, but it'll make it a lot more um, random. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. I think that the Gaussian blur should be a lot more. You can just duplicate this, say copy, and then press Control V. That looks a lot better. Okay, now I'm just going to render this, and it'll take a little while, but let's give it a second. I'm not going to do that, but yeah, guys, this is my muzzle flash tutorial. Um, hope you'll like it. I know the I know the um the actual footage is really crappy. I just got it offline. Um. I can give you all a link if you all actually want to download it. It's it's on a guy's YouTube channel, but I don't think he really really knows if I'm using this, so I don't know if I have the right to. But you know, it's actually just go out and you buy your own airsoft gun, CO2. You know, it's not that hard because it has actual blowback and it's a lot easier than than editing it in post because that takes forever and I hate it. I hate it so much because. It's just stupid. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you next time. I guess I might do some more tutorials. Just comment below. See what you actually want to, you know, what you'd like me to do in the future. Okay, bye, guys.